once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. They saved up so much money, too. The wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seem to always <laughs> follow them. So cute, After different types of animals. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage. Mm. But when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. A coyote so, cult. Their mother showed up after all that time. Oh, yeah. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out. <laughs> to they sure did. The wolf brothers. Oh, yeah, that happened. United, followed their rogue mother. Far into the desert to her hideaway. No one got shot, right? In my last ending thing. Okay. Are you guys ready for awkward silences? Arizona. Seven weeks, seven weeks after Haven Point. So seven weeks after episode four. Sleeping out in the open. Hey, wake up, Sean. No one wakes up like that. He's just like, oh, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> what time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. All right, wasn't the mom with them? <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Isn't it crazy cool. cold to sleep in the desert at night? Oh, they have sleeping bags. Is your eye okay? It's gone. Yeah. Just, <laughs> there is no eye. It's okay, Nana. I promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. Aw, that's cute. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Ow! 
That's a nice start. DS brothers. Always. So now what? So are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. Hmm. She's scared. Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Hmm. They're together. Listen. We're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean. Are we criminals now? Oh, we have always been criminals. Sort of. Sort of. We did a lot of illegal shit. Daniel's thing is that he wants I'll to be, be treated like an adult, so. We'll be judged for what we did. That's Can't sugarcoat the truth. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Sure. Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <gasps> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. Hmm. She led them to her secret lair deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land. I miss Mushroom. And their destination. Lied. A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, then. So what happens next? Uh, they, they arrive in Mexico, but the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, <laughs> and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. If only the police could forgive, yeah. Let's back this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. And this place is too pretty. Telescope. So incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. How'd they get that? It's like we're right there. Every star looked the same. Until we used Karen's old guidebook. Ah, got it from mom. Sketching time. Good mm -hmm. idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. That's true. Almost. We'll see about that. <laughs> Very funny. Smart ass. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're so nice to each other now. Hmm. 
pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Damn. That was quick. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the tin. Hmm. I can try. Ruff looks cool, but messy. Should I keep going? Hell yeah. My back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Jeez. Do I really look that evil? He looks more like a super villain. Hmm. Not what I was going for, but sure. Cool. Oh, yeah. God, that's crazy to go through it like that. Um. God, there's so many pages. So much happened. Jesus. Oh, you! Thanks for the 24 months! Thank you! And Sassy, thank you for the 6 months! Thank you! <coughs> nah. Is that the grandparents? God, so many. Let's start packing things. I need a drink. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just How are they keeping in touch with the their mom? Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Um, the flashlight? Pretty useless with a crazy moon like we had. <laughs> but it scares the coyotes away. Um Activate flashlight. On the way. He's a Jedi. I swear dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of mom too much. Oh. Maybe. Yeah. Right. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. And he just chucks it down into Stop. the canyon. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut <laughs> it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. <laughs> Is that it? I'm glad we had these. I'm not a fan of desert critters. Well... Let's hit the trail, cowboy. <laughs> the end. Yeah, we're done. That was it. Sassy, thank you for gifting. Thank you. Gifting a sub. What are you doing? Don't do that. What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop. Messing with it, man. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, little guy. Don't get eaten by eagles. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> cool. I think I do. Let's go. Needed the round number. Uh, are we gonna leave that bottle? I wish we saw my falling stars. Or any. <laughs> uh. We saw the Milky hey, Way. We saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. 
That was so cool. Arthur hmm. and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah. These guys are real cool. That's awesome. Out of my way, I'm first. Then Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. So they spent the night out here to see like the sunrise and the stars. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Hmm. Confused? She's um, confused. <gasps> like what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know, I mean, she hasn't seen you for years. I'm not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. There we go. So, maybe he can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. So much for being careful. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice man. He's a strong boy. Oh, it's a little village. Ah. Oh. So they kind of just camped out to, yeah, see the stars and then the sunrise. Do you think they took my advice? Because we're having like the nice guitar music now instead of like awkward silence. the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. I love his shoes. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen. <laughs> hmm. Back soon. Pancakes. Nice. Wait, where'd you just put it? Daniel, you copy? Yeah, I read you. 10 4. I have a <laughs> alert in the kitchen. <laughs> pancake alert. Whatever. Joanne has waffles. Over and out. <laughs> 4. No flying pancakes today. Wait, what was it about the crops? Oh. Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? Stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. Oh, yeah. Hmm. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Can we? Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food, not money. There are a plane coming? <laughs> Looking at this place. I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. Stickers. Literally. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Man, I would, again, I would really just stay here. Okay. Got a souvenir. Hmm. 
nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. He calls it a mess, but it's like four things. <laughs> Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Oh, yeah. Then I should be Storm Boy fighting vampires. Sucks that we can't get food coloring out here. I like this idea of like, just having a walkie talkie. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. So where is Daniel? How do I run? David always wants to help. But he's tough to figure out. I hope the UFOs are listening. Oh, R. I was like, I was sure it was one of the shoulder buttons. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Hmm. Love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please. Oh, that's cool, yeah. This place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. Joanne can throw a total rager out here, but without asshole neighbors. Yeah, it tickles in my fingers. There's power cuts all the time here. It tickles in my fingers. But no one's really bothered by it. I love it. <laughs> Thanks. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. Is this where we go in? Guess not. Oh, they're outside. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. What's he trying to do? That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm. Yeah, I bet. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm dead serious. I just doodles. I didn't hear what she was saying. No, it's just doodles and shit. No big deal. I thought my sculptures were shit too, compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. Hmm. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Until I realized it was useless. Hmm. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Okay. Okay. Sure. Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. <laughs> I want your input. You're Fucking right. sucks, again? lady. Oh, yes. <laughs> Are you happy you got my input? Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. Hmm. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. So, a block, a ball, okay.
That's the head. That's an arm. The belly. That's the one we need. Maybe that's supposed to represent the earth. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. That one. Now, let's throw on that spider. Check it out. <laughs> and then that one. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. <clears throat> How's that? I doubt it's balanced properly, though. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. Mm -hmm. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. Okay. Fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I think I did it right. I bet you would like Minecraft. Uh -huh. it, it, it's kind of like this. Oh my god. Uh, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes. And you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Oh, I thought I thought I heard BB, but he's sleeping on the couch. In dust. Blurred politics. Yeah, you hate it. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help build her sculpture. Cool. Well, cool. Thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. Cool. See you around, hun. Cool. Um, so where are those waffles that he mentioned? Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this would be nice. Take a seat. I have no idea what I'm doing. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks, but they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. Honestly, it sounds like a nice place. This is so nice and calming. Oh. Daniel's sitting up there. Yeah. What about you guys, chat? Pancakes or waffles? I would probably say pancakes. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town.
Welcome to Away. Leave the past the day you can forever stay. The Founding Sisters. Huh. No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That... I bet Hippie started this place. I'm starting 1975? Wow. I bet Hippie started this place. Hmm. I'm starting to see why now. Anything here? Oh, there's people here. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Morning. Stanley and Arthur. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. <laughs> God, this looks so nice. Sean, it's too early to How chill would it be to just be there and just have the world like no kidding. stop for a week or so? How was your sleepover in the canyon? Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. Mm -hmm. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Oh, yep. We looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder hmm. where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. That's a good voice. Um, she visits a lot? Visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her, but you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. Hmm. Why come so, here for Christmas? Why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change, but being gay is still dangerous. The end. It is, so, yeah. I'm almost sixty, and I was a happily married man for twenty years. Until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. Ugh. I mean, yeah, the so daughter is probably stay. what is up with that coffee though? Purple steam. After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. <sighs> I hear that. I'm the daughters. So tired of running. I mean, Hoping I don't agree with them for home. being so hostile, but Away. I can at you least see from their point of view. Like, you just see your dad suddenly dump your mom. Mom's probably You're broken smart. up about it, and no then he's suddenly gay, direction. and it's like, right, I had no right. idea my entire life. Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be fifty-nine, but I'm twenty-five. <laughs> uh huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna hang around before it gets too hot. Thanks for the desert brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird hippie version. Towny Cray Cray. Barbecue. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? He's out You're there really looking. You're too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, uh, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Huh? <laughs> Why is that weird? Wait, what do I do? Kind of normal. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. Good boy. Somebody cares about me like that when I get old. These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. I always thought that Yes. Ten four. Okay. You're on a nano. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes. Right, Sean. <laughs> 
find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's that's it. That's <laughs> That's it. I'll hold LB and A to talk to Daniel and ask for new clothes, okay? I wanted to say, I always thought that the Netherlands is like super gay friendly because we've had legalized marriage for gay people for so long. And, part of town is, dead this time of year. Um, is it this? But even like a couple of years ago Um, so I, th I think a couple got beat up for like walking hand in hand. Really sucks. What is it? A map? Ahoy, matey! I found a map of a way. The solar panels? So what about the guy who completely obsessed over this medieval fantasy show there? You're in the middle zone. Where was it again? Oh, there. Warm? Getting closer. There it is. Uh, it's fun. <laughs> ah. Okay. Okay, got it. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. Another snatch of paper. And the treasure is yours, I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain! Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. <laughs> so I fucking cute. Know where to go. That's Somewhere a cool here. Ass map you drew, dude. Think. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Ooh. Looks like something's buried here. That's a treasure? Yes, I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could do it. This is so cute. Old it looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Sure. You know what time it is. Victory, Santa. <laughs> Do it! Do it! Yeah! <laughs> That's so cute! Yeah. <laughs> you asked for it. Very cute. That was awesome. Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Hmm. Mm, yes, 100% her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Is she coming this way? Oh, the actual house is back there. I hear a car. Oh, yeah, she coming. My biggest fear would be driving out here and then my car breaking down. Watch out. Move your ass. I'll let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. Hi. 
This is such a weird fucking place. Glad to see you. But that's what's cool about it. Who is she signing? Me? She didn't know I was right next to her. Go to that small town for supply. Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, he looks cool. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. How long is the trip? We'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. Yeah. Waiting. I'm oh, right. wondering. Because she's it. hiding her head and hey. she doesn't seem to have eyebrows. Here. I'm worried that yeah, she has some kind of disease that she's Catch we don't know about. Take care. Well, maybe she just hey. gave gave so up on medication. Like your night in the canyon. Amazing. It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. Damn, look at how cute. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> But we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa! Yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> Instead of just catching it, he uses board. his powers. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid. <laughs> and play. <laughs> yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys are David from the first up, game? And I still Wait, who are you talking Daniel's about? Skills. <sighs> Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an He's old in the first soldier, episode. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. <sighs> Thanks. I tried my best. Chloe's stepdad. I guess it's I sure. have no idea. Oh, I know. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try and be a good influence, but our bond is complicated. We're brothers. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. <sighs> Listen. Raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. The security dude? Trust me. Wait, wait, wait. That was easier. Uh, the asshole that she called a Nazi? The Nazi dad with the security cameras around the house? Wait, so he completely changed his life around and then went to the desert? Oh. You didn't tell me you were married. I uh, used to be. We're divorced now. Her daughter's death. Left her heartbroken. Same for me. That's not what I did. Couldn't put our pieces back together. Wait. I saved happened. Chloe to save the town. Sorry, David. Yeah, the worst thing is, I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter. Before she died. Wait, so saving the town and having her die is the canon ending? Oil and water. And she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Holy shit. Anyway, you can't go back. <laughs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Damn, he sure turned nice. Snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. <gasps> I was going to say, that's so many groceries, okay. but if it's for this entire group of people for an entire week. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Thanks, Namiria. Get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. 
Just be you, Enano. I'm just saying. I love it when he says Enano. Don't get too cozy. Here. Such a nice Susan. word. Rest hey, whales. I know. Thank you so much for the sub. Are you just gonna put the bag in? That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. That's good, yeah. <gasps> pancakes. One thing Claire and Karen have I finally have my pancakes. Their love for pancakes. Since Life is Strange 1, I missed out on those pancakes. I finally have my pancakes. Hell yes. That woman is amazing. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh. Gross. Yeah, it's not my kind of pancake. Although I do like savory pancakes. Man. I love savory crepes. Ugh, so good. Put like some cheese and like mushrooms in them. Oh, so good. Sean's tabs. Wait, she has internet here? Describing painful situations and seeing the good into it. All right, what is this? Last time I saw my mother before this year, I was telling her to leave me the fuck alone. That I was done with the whole bullshit family. My real fam were the strangers I met on the road who became friends, not my family who became strangers. I adopted all the online connections I made around the world and all those wandering souls that I would encounter on my journeys ahead. You would be reading about them right now, except the next time I saw my mother, she was in hospice care at our Utah home, her body light and frail as a web, holding my hand and telling me that she was sorry about everything that kept us apart for most of my adult life. My mom was dying of cancer and she was sorry. I cried, she cried, my brother cried, and we all cried. Um, and all the years of family bullshit blew away to dust like that. It just wasn't mad. I just wasn't mad anymore. I didn't know what it would be so easy or so hard. It didn't mean that past didn't happen or that I wasn't responsible in my own way. My brother used to tell me I was a fake liberal because I because while I was out trying to save the world, he had to take care of mom and the family estate. Maybe he was right. But I told him that he also had the money to take care of them. Goddamn, if I was in charge of the fa finances, I would have given away the family estate and we'd be broke living in a co-op. My brother knows this. Families are just fucking weird. Can I scroll down or do I need to... Random... Okay. Society tells us to love your parents and siblings sim simply out of blood and chance. But what if you hate each other? What if you're only linked by random DNA? What if... Whatever, it doesn't matter. I've seen the best and worst of people everywhere I will. You tend to have those extremes at 3 a.m. at an empty gas station or on some desolate freeway. Yes, I've seen strong family bonds in hard times. I know there are big siblings, siblings out there who will always care for their little sibling and vice versa. They help me to understand our fragile filial ecosystem. In her last hours, my brother and I held my mom's thin fingers as she passed on to a place I hope is better than the one she came from. After she was gone, I found a stash of some old school essays and stories, the only thing I was good at in school. I never knew she kept this stuff or that she cared. Even if we never understood each other, she must have been a little proud that I went my own way and tried to be a force for good. Mothers know how to make you cry like a little bitch. The first time tears had burned my eyes in a long time. Felt good. So now I've come back to a home I once vowed to never return. I don't feel so alienated this time, even if I still am. Like I say too often, there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. Now I have an estate to deal with and more responsibility than I actually want. But I have to see this as karma, or destiny, or the dharma of the privileged. Don't panic, but I may be ta taking a break from my life on wheels, just to see who or what I can help now I have more resources to spread around. I'm sure my brother will approve, insert sarcasm, if we were still taking, talking after all this memorial bonding. Okay, it's not a happy ending, but maybe it's a hopeful one. Speaking of hope, given the sad state of this sad nation, I've been thinking it's time to move outside of my comfort zone. Send dispatches from places and people I'm not so familiar with, places I can explore to tell new stories from, like Canada or Mexico. The road never ends. We miss you too, Lila. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> the cat. Ah! <laughs> Didn't think I would read the whole thing. That was really well written. Didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice. 
in her songs. Hola, sexy and, boy. Dude. <laughs> I know what he's missing. Jake hooked me up with your P.O. box, so now you can't hide from your old crew anymore. I know you took off from the hospital, and I'm glad you're still going down to Mexico. We've all been fugitives on the run, but you and Daniel are the kings of the, kings of the road. I hope you finally get back home. Not ready to settle yet, so we're all hanging out in Colorado. The idea of, is trying to get as far away of the West Coast as possible. Too many ghosts for now. Hard to believe Finn isn't here to start shit, and we don't miss him for that. But he'll get a few more songs out of me. We all want to remember him for his angels, not his demons. I miss you. I would love to take a road trip out of this shithole, and it would be great to swim with you again. So you better let me know when you hit Mexico, Sean. Don't make me track you down. I'll even give you my number, so no excuses. Aw, she really likes me. And I like her. Gotta keep my eye lube handy. Hmm. <laughs> Still keeping up with that. Much. Don't need this as much. Oh, cool. So it is healing up, at least. She changed my diapers, but... It feels kind of awkward to be here. <laughs> yeah, they're not that close. A snake Ugh. clamp. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of a toilet last week. Oof. Careful when you pee. Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Chupacabra some rather huh. space. Maybe they were nerds together. <laughs> Jacob's ladder. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They have horrible handwritings. They deserve some peace. Hola, Sean. Sorry I did not write to you sooner, but this was the first time I had a chance to relax after we got out of Haven Point. Thanks to you and your brother. I still can't believe it really happened. So bizarre. Sarah Lee and I do miss our parents, but we're not ready to let them know where we are yet. We will figure it out later. With the money you gave me, I could pay a month's rent in advance for a room in a small beach town on the coast. Sarah Lee loves it. She's much better now, thanks to the antibiotics. We're doing great. The most important thing to me is my sister, just like your brother. You're lucky to have each other, and we're, we were blessed when you both came our way. I'm trying to track down our humbled crew, so I'll keep you posted. I hope everybody is okay after that night on the farm. We all deserve a break and a better future. Please let me know when you make it to the other side. You and Daniel got this. Nice. It's nice to get little, like, uh, updates like this. Looks like they all finally found their home. This is everyone? That's great art as well. I love that style. Oh, no, not that one. Looks like they all finally found their home. The other one. No, not no. Looks like they all finally found their home. Fuck, Sean. Look with your other eye. Looks there so you go. And fragile on this picture. Wow. Hard times. Maggie and Karen. Daniel's big ten late birthday. Oh, party. he's and ten now. So happy. That's nice. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. What's the name? What's the name tag? Either hmm. Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. Hmm. What's that one? I hope Karen sends this to Clarence to you. Hmm. Lots of uh, places she took out. I've been thinking about this letter for a while, and I know it's been a long, long time coming. I'm sitting here tonight thinking about the words I should have written ten years ago. You always used to say, everything happens for a reason. We thought about it then. I understand why now. There is a reason I feel like I have to reach out to you both tonight from the desert. I know you've only heard from me once by phone and six times in my letter for almost a decade. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, and I was certainly not trying to punish you like you told me. Don't laugh, but I just didn't know what to say or write. Poets block. Just like how you had to block me from your life after I left Esteban. I understand that was how you had to deal with a problem child, an only child, who didn't live up to your expectations. There's no denying that I failed you, but the burden, weight of your aspirations as parents failed me too. You had such a rigid opinion of what I was supposed to be that I just didn't have the opportunity to explore who I really was. You wanted a daughter to grow up happy, find a good job and great husband, settle down, have kids and raise them in faith to continue the cycle of suburbia. That daughter wasn't me. I know that you were raised in a different time and culture, so I didn't understand your point of view. Like you didn't understand your wayward daughter, maybe a bridge too far for us at the time. 
After Danny was born, you knew I wanted to take a break, some time, to figure things out in my head and heart. It didn't make sense to you or dad, and I get that, but I was so desperate and only Esteban was willing to give me that time because he saw how unhappy I was. I don't blame you for my decision to leave, and maybe a time out would have led to the same outcome. We will never know, and I try to not to live in regret. My life has been a roller coaster, and there have been times I longed to hear your voices and thoughts. And I know when I last talked to you in New York to ask for help in paying back my debts, you wanted to help. But uh, it was on your condition to return right back to where I couldn't return. I hate that was our last conversation. Fireworks? Outside. I'm sorry I reached out to you this day. I'm sorry I broke your hearts. I'm sorry I let you broke mine for silencing me for so long. I think we've paid our dues. And now I sit under a blue field of crystal stars like the poet I hope I am, writing and waiting for a chance to rebuild an old bridge with my mother and father. I hope we can cross it one more time. Aww. I hope she sends it. That would be really nice. She's really good at rewriting her own life. Hmm. Rewriting her own life. Dev, thank you for the seven months. Thank you. I'm a solo Mobius strip. Just when I reach the end, I go back to the beginning. Resign myself to new faces, the privilege to escape and rewrite another draft. Goddess laughs at plans, then shows me the page left unmarked for years. Out in the ghost desert, the seeds return as saplings to reveal their age and power. Now I go back forward, layered with fear and hope, to water the children of the sun. This one's pretty Damn. intense. I think I get it. Don't believe I would find a soul within or without a church. A miracle was sleep and f food and fuck. A day without shit until it was not. Now we run to celestial spires, O oh visions of the fake prophet, prophet, engulfed in ego and belief as the burning cross falls on, our, on all your cruel angels. I am the bonfire of vanity, so when the dam breaks, we all flood like glass on a mirage, if I believe. That po poetry always like just goes way over my head. I'm always like, yeah, it's really nice that you did that, but I don't know what you're saying. What's the USB for? Here is a poem she framed. I must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Fly by night, not by fright, into the big city bright. Stop. That cliche never dying in the steel of the buildings, the warp of the streets. But no matter what or where I spin, the pull of the million dead poets takes me to dance once again. Go. But this time I get to lead until the next flight. Okay. Can I use the USB? Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hmm. Misty mice tickets. Hey, Dad. Oh, that's so nice. Lila always knew how to crack me up. That's awesome. Okay, I think I've seen enough. Admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. I don't like the heat that much either. What do you think of our little oasis? Um, everybody's cool. Everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But people here are not going to get in your space. They have their own past, too. <sighs> That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. How did they get the money for all the groceries, though? I wonder. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes. I still feel like I wonder if she sells the art or there's bad shit going on in this desert. Does she sell her poetry? Yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. 
So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. Hmm. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Oh, what's going to happen? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Super Wolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10 4. <laughs> Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Don't push us off, Mom. Let's pack then. There's a big reveal coming, isn't there? I wonder why she wants to take us on a walk. Should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> Okay. Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. <laughs> then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. So cool. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Don't push him off. <laughs> Listen, serious. What if secretly she's like, yeah, he's too dangerous. <laughs> he would probably save himself. Uh oh, I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. No hunter can catch super wolf. Not even you. <laughs> You must hike all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all <laughs> about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. <laughs> fast. Yeah. I am like you, Dan. That makes sense. So let's hurry up. That is cool. But why would she bring us all the way out here? I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. Internally now the mom is like, oh fuck now I have to tell them I do my big thing. That you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. Hmm, you helped us a lot. 
You actually helped us. You gave us a place to recharge and lay low. No kidding. I was so beat down after Haven Point. I know. This is the best place to take some time for yourself. You don't get that chance very often in life. Just know I love both of you so much. And I'm proud of who you are. Did she call the cops or something? Where you're going. By the way, uh, if you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. <laughs> I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But I have to be upfront with both of you. Here it comes. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. Ah. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well, figures. This can last forever. So, this is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? <laughs> Your top <tops> is. <laughs> That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. What is it? Oh, lanterns. That is awesome. I love those. Good thing they're in the desert though, otherwise I would say fire hazard, but... Still so sad that dad is dead though. He was my favorite character still. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a sweet little goodbye. I like it. I still think we should just be, just be turned into the police. They can't even explain what really happened anyway. They can't really officially blame Daniel for what happened. And Daniel is young enough to not go to prison. Police seek family after Nevada fire. Oh, this is probably it where there's a song that got taken out because this is so awkward Are you guys all set up to leave no 
so that's we have to leave again. I think I'm kind of scared. So much illegal stuff after that. Yeah, no, they they should have just gone to the police straight away. Uh, what will you do now? What are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. <laughs> I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to to help you. Oh, is she gonna it confess? Easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mom, wow. I she can't do that. Yeah. It's not about me right now. Damn. You your to Puerto Lobos. You don't have to. You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. Damn, I Jesus. Knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules. No matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. Hmm. I don't know. Dad didn't race us this way. He was a rebel, but he wasn't a criminal. He didn't teach us to say, fuck it. Esteban had a lot more faith in the system than me. I had to do shit my own way. Look, I only want you and Daniel to get what you deserve. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. All right, I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Hmm. Okay. Let's go see him. I wonder if it, if he has a picture of Chloe in uh, in his truck. Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. <laughs> Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. New plates, huh? I feel you, David. Dear Joyce, great to get your postcard. You sure get around now. Hope you are seeing the world like you want it. I know our lives are so different now, I like to think, but I hope we can go something. Everything is so different now, and I hope one day we can just have a beer and shoot the shit like before. Aww. Oh, oh, there it is! Must be oh! -wife. There she is! So Holy much. shit! And not for the best. Damn. Wonder where David got this police scanner. Hmm. Okay. How does this thing work? Toggle power? Uh, okay. We gotta search between 140 and 160. Mm hmm. There's something there. This place has too many Fuck. adults. But I'm gonna miss it. Morning, String quartets. 
Still not the right one. Come on. That's all I'm saying, folks. But back to our caller talking about mm -hmm. climate. Nope. Definitely not. Another hit from the backwoods on Dusty Rocks FM. Mm. Don't think so. Keep scanning. Wait, is this it? Now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. Thanks, David. You big rebel. That's awesome. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. That's right. I never saw David even drink a beer. Up, up, and away. Is he sober now? That is that the idea? Weird. Didn't <gasps> know David was so punk rock. Is that from Chloe? <laughs> yeah, me and David won't be sharing any playlist. What's David doing with that? Nathan Prescott. Creepy dude. Wait, who's that? I forgot. Is that someone from the first one? Sounds familiar. The rich kid? Yeah. That was dealing drugs or something, right? I think I remember. Yeah, the one that shot Chloe, yeah. Roll. Did you get the police scanner? <laughs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now. What are the odds? Know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now, you have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. Sure. Thanks. So. Yeah, David sure changed. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. You only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. <laughs> Just honest. I know, Dave. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. <laughs> and yes. I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. Your experience forms you as a person. And I imagine all the shit you've seen and how it's changed you. Pretty much. Not comparing myself, but I had to go through my own hell. In war and at home. Oh man. I feel so I bad now. I really hated him. Or other people. Are you talking about your stepdaughter? Yeah. Some rich fucking kid shot her at school. <gasps> where I was supposed to protect her. Oh yeah. That's where it started, hated right? Each other on site. Jesus. But so he I kept. Oh, so he has the picture of the of the guy that killed her in How his truck. And stupid I'd be. Damn. I should have listened to Chloe instead of being a bully. All of my fuck ups are crystal clear now. But I'm not gonna fuck this up. Sean, 
I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. No, I just want to hug BB. I, I want to. I feel so bad for him and Joyce. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. I know you guys got screwed, but you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? Exactly. It's you so unrealistic to go to Mexico. And face the law. Yes. You can be free. That's what I've been saying from episode one. Sooner than later. Stay in America. I don't know. I might turn myself in after I see what happens with Daniel. I know you want to settle down first, but keep your options open. Think about it. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, well, I did save Arcadia or sacrifice Arcadia, so I don't think I don't think it changes anything here. Yeah. I'm good. I think it's just canon now that that's what happened. <clears throat> don't worry, I'm mostly working when the sun's going down. Got that right. Now, how about you? I am totally spying. Uh, any news from the vet? Good. That's a relief. Hope I can He's talking to Joyce. Next time I swing by Santa Rosa. Hmm. She has a new kid. They seem to be getting along. Still haven't heard anything. Just hope they won't let him out. Oh. That's the boy's killer. The daughter's killer. Chloe's killer. Well, no lawyers. Oh. Can't expect much from them. Sure. Okay. Hey, take care. Talk soon. Bye-bye. Damn. I've seen a version of on um, where he talks about Joyce being dead be be if you save Chloe. Daniel, after all oh. this time in a community. I I did s choose that, but I did see the other ending as well. Maybe it just remembered me getting the other ending then. Let's check you out one last time. Hey. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. Hmm. I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Oh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. Yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be, too. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> he only wanted me to find my own way. Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Hmm. Wish he was here with us. It's bullshit that we get to see Puerto Lobos, but he doesn't. Puerto Lobos. I know. 
But Esteban is still with you. And he always wanted you and Daniel to see where he came from. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I still have no idea how he expects to just cross the border. I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over. If we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He's still he just ten, though. Grow up too fast. He wants to be equals. And you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Maybe you're right. I'm so nice to everyone. Like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. She seems like such a nice person now that we got her to got to know her a little bit better. Makes me like a little bit sad because I wish they stayed together then. I don't know. Come. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <laughs> kind of like being in life. <clears throat> Back in the day. And he can fly, bitch to his. Hey. What's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. <laughs> so, what do you think? Hmm. I have no idea That's what else you want, cool. so. I can totally tell what you're doing. Oh, good. That makes one of us. <laughs> but I like it. Of course, you and Daniel, you did inspire me. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. Oh, that's cute. That's great. Uh... Do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. <laughs> your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay. One big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. No. Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself. And my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey, is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. Hmm. <laughs> so long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. Okay. Um. I miss you so much. How about the two guys from earlier? Ah, there they are. Hi. Hey guys. I came by to say adios. We're adios amigos. Today. No, you're not. Really? No. Everything okay? Yeah. Just. Oh. Time to go. Look at oh, this cool shit. ass demon tattoo. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Ah, uh, it's too risky. Yeah. But it's too risky, especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look, we can hide you from the cops. Not these ones. They want my ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. <laughs> Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? We'll try. We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. 
and the home. Oh God, my neck. <laughs> okay. So stiff. I'm done babbling. I just take goodbyes. Mm. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we we're gonna make it work. <sighs> Shit, I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. Crip hug. Hey, watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. No. Car to the beach. No. So cute. Thank you. Well, that was everyone, wasn't it? Damn. Leave away. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Oh, leave yeah. away. I forgot the town is called away. I was like, leave away. Leave away. I ho, silver. Away. Mom, I, I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was She's like, oh, finally, I'm getting rid of my kids. I'm so damn proud of you both and what you're going to do with your life. And if you ever I'm so me, proud of my little criminals. I'm just around the corner. Okay, mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Oh. Of course you're going to hug her. Damn, dude. Thanks, mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. No. Awkward. <laughs> now let go, mom. Bye. Right. Thanks for the car. <laughs> God, David is the saddest story, though. Well, at least he's still talking to Joyce. Ah, oh, what a nice little town. Stay safe. This hurts. She's giving away her car too. Bye, everybody. Stick your head back in sight. We've all seen hereditary. Probably gonna go to jail, so who needs a car? Oh, right. True. She said she was gonna take the blame. Hey, Alexander. Man, this sure beats walking, huh? He's not wearing his seatbelt. Neither is he. Damn it. Bad example. Hey. Is something wrong? We're almost there, okay? That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So... What's the problem? What... What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We yeah. Anybody. You're gonna be all alone. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? How do you think we can live here? No more running, and I don't... So... What are we gonna do for money and stuff? Hmm... I get a job, I guess. I, I mean, I... I think we should just go to the police, but... It won't be hard. You can probably go to school... Dude! I can't even speak Spanish! 
You're ten. You'll get it really quickly. You're young. Anything if I can't talk. He'll be fluent in like six months. I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out too. Um Well that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel, I get scared too, you know, but we'll be, we'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. Hmm. Good. I'm so curious what's going to happen, because this has to be the episode where either we cross the border, we get to Puerto Lobos, and then we start a new life, or we're going to be caught by the police, and then the rest of the episode is going to be about the trial or something. Yeah, I think we're going to get caught by, like, Border Patrol or something. Oh, that's creepy. I would not trust him with that. You better hope you don't get a flat tire or something. I think the episodes so far have been either two and a half to three and a half hours, something like that. So we're an hour and a half in right now, like Bagnari said, so we're probably like halfway through-ish. I've been really taking my time though, looking at everything, so maybe more like three and a half. Oh, that's it. You can just use your powers, though. What if we, like, stand on the rock and then use the levitation powers to Dude, go over? It's just a giant fence. Or lift it's the fence and drive awesome. under it. Wait, we're gonna take the car? Hey. Sean? Yeah? Why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Huh? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Not really. So, why did they build one here? Good question. No, Daniel. That sucks. The wall. Here we go. This episode came out today, Pikimo. So here we are, Daniel. I think a couple hours ago. The end of the road. Six hours ago Finally. or something? Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. Let's blast it. I wonder if it goes really deep into the ground. Dude, it's hard. Uh, 
Oh, it's happening. I can't. It's all right. Take your time. Stay focused. Holy shit. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my god. Yes. My god, he's so strong. You're right, Tubro. Who are you? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. Damn. You did it! Can you imagine Border Patrol coming by and just being like, What the fuck happened here? <laughs> Who blew out the wall? So thanks to you. Mexico, let's go. It's gonna be all right now. We've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. Can you imagine? They cross <laughs> the wall, and then it's just like, the we end. <laughs> that was it. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh, man. Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. Uh, this is going too well. Something's gonna happen on our way to the car. That's gonna use up a lot of police tape, yeah. <laughs> Daniel. Daniel! I called it! Talk to me. I called it! Daniel. I said it was going too well. Talk to me. You just shot his arm. He's okay. Just lie down on the floor or you're gonna get shot too, dude. Daniel! Uh, they don't look like police. Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Rednecks. Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? God, I'd rather it have been police, though. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico? Yes. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans. We're Americans! Americans, damn it! Now it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. <sighs> you get it? <sighs> Do we look like terrorists? We're just kids. Not after you blow a wall up. So tell me the plan. How did they even find out? You're not cops. You can't arrest us. No, but we work with them. And they sure They're volunteering. Our help. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on! We have to deal with this kid. No, Still bleeding. Don't touch him! Get off! There they are. Yeah, don't move! What? What the fuck? Get it off! Stop! Get it off! Jesus! What the fuck is going on? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? 
Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, do what the officer says. Police isn't agreeing with it. How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut we just grazed him. Yes. Well, at least we're away from Take the crazy breath. people. You okay now? <sighs> Daniel! Ah, oh, they're being arrested. Uh, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Yes. Sean Diaz? Yes. <laughs> You're under arrest. I know. <laughs> At least it's them and not- oh god, I was so worried this, this whole episode was going to be that we're kidnapped by rednecks. Jesus. This is- a, this is an improvement of what I thought was going to happen. Also, I missed something. Chico, thank you so much for the sub, and Captain CCR, thank you so much for the three months, thank you. Hi. Oh, can we get some full Spanish dialogue? That would be awesome. Spanish sounds so nice. <laughs> Hello. Don't look at me. <laughs> Sucks to be you this right now. See. Si. Yo soy Diego. Yes. Mi, mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es, um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Ángela. Oh. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron uh, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave. Una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Good. This instantly makes me want to learn Spanish. That's how I am with like languages. If I just hear it, I'm just like, ah, I need to be able to speak it. That Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. Ugh. I wonder how long they've been here, gross. and why. What the hell is wrong with these people? They're racists. That's what's wrong with them. Thanks. I'll remember that. I don't even understand how you can group like people together like that. How can you just in your life be like, okay, all people from this country are bad? Jeez. Sea girl, thank you so much for the four months. I wonder how many people have been locked up in here. Um, speak to the officer. Excuse me. Do you know where my brother is? Is he sleeping? He's just a kid. It looks like he's sleeping. Como estas, cariño? Uh, me duele la espalda. Oh, poor lady. Uh, voy a de aquí si quieres. This guy must be trained not to listen to anything you say. Oh, he is awake. What is he doing? What the hell is wrong with these people? Hmm. Speak Seriously. to them? Why are you doing this? What's your problem? Doing what? You shot my 10 year old brother. It was a mistake. It's just a graze. The falls would knock him out. Oh, you don't have to talk to him, Dad. Ugh, Dad? Damn. Hello? Hello? Ah, uh, got it. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Pendejo. 
Pendejo. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentamos. Yikes or ever. Recuerdo en nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. We aren't illegal trying to reach Mexico. When was that? Así. Hace cuánto tiempo pasó eso? Hace año y medio. El presidente era otro, pero los problemas de nuestro lado de la frontera eran los mismos. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar oh, la frontera. Oh, damn. ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente? Por las mismas razones que todos. Better life. Soportar la inseguridad y la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Muchas formas. Mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla. Nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos pedido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo. Pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo mm. o hija. Um. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto, pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse como nosotros. Como nosotros. Amarte, amigo, pero lo de México. No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. Wow, guys. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Mm. Los tiempos cambian, pero la gente también. En el camino encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglarte más. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. What? It's America. We speak English. Oh my god. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. As someone who loves sense. learning languages, I just can't understand someone who'd be like, I just only want the language spoken in my country. Like, how could you not want to learn about different cultures and different things? This makes me so angry. Our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. My dad was an immigrant, and he worked his ass off, raised a family, and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. Ugh. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See, you love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, hmm. you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. Can someone please punch what? her in the face? What you say? Oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is Siento our country. Tenido. It's not worth it. I want to punch her, but... I have to well, prove her wrong. Whether you people lack it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too. Loser. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you're in jail too for shooting someone. Who's the idiot now? Stuck down here with them. You know us. We're helping you, goddammit. Hey, 
You have the right to remain silent. So fucking use it, okay? Yes, Campbell. Right. Yes. Yes. You're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay. Let's move it. Okay, here we go. All right. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. I love that, that he has freckles. There's Such a nice little detail. On his arms. Want coffee? Yeah, actually. Okay. Good. Be right back. Thanks. Fuck. <gasps> Shit. Is it morning already? I hope he's alright. Wait, is it? I thought it was 6 p.m. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. No, nope, no. No point in getting these off. Other Aisha. There are cops. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? You're not! Just confess! Jesus! Why are you even trying? Of course not. You just gotta wait for the dude to come back with your coffee. When Daniel wakes up, he'll cause a havoc. Yeah. Probably. I'm so tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? I'm not illegal! You shot a kid, Jesus. You shot a ten-year-old. Are you fucking insane? Yes, put them in solitary. I wonder if that lady is coming who was my the cop keeping an eye on me at the hospital. There you go. She was like asking me questions, Oops. right? Like you need it. Thanks. Drink All it. Right. It's a sign of trust. Let's see. Mm. Okay. Robert, thanks for the sub. Seriously? Yeah. Coffee's going to make me feel so much better. Can only drink the coffee. Are you gonna talk or what? At least it'll keep me up. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. <sighs> it's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle, assaulting a gas station clerk. Ah, the Not other racist dude. A weird explosion at a pot farm in California. <laughs> then you join a religious commune in Nevada, mm -hmm. oh, which ends up burnt to the ground. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with, but not all that. Yeah, that's crazy. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. Yeah, that's she the lady, right? Mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. She says a lot. Who cares? You don't have any proof. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey, it's not up to me, kid. Yeah, if she confesses, then that's kind of it. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. 
I did what I had to do. I needed to protect my brother. I know, son. But running away from trouble is never a good solution. Exactly. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? Because... I panicked. I panicked. Okay? Then it was too late. We were already criminals. Well, it's no reason to make things worse by running away, kid. Good news is... Your brother's too young to be prosecuted. That's what I said. He'll end up with your grandparents. If they want him. That's nice. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. Yeah. At least he'll get a life. Unless he wakes up now. <laughs> uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went. Oh, he's coming. Blew up. Daniel's coming. Seriously. How? Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but it just happens around us. I mean, I if it. Uh -huh. if you just let me do my whole story, Listen, I'm sure. Once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Whoa! Uh, what is that? He's up! Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. Sean! You okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. Thanks! Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Is he okay? I I wanted to rescue you, but I I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, let's go then. Just ignore them. Who are these people? They're not even worth your time. Come here. Carla and Diego. Well, the way Carla and Diego are, but not them. God. Thrown in jail for it. Why are we taking our time? We should go. The others. They're the ones who try to shoot you. What? They got locked up. Good. Oh, yeah, they good. did. We're not gonna do anything. You think I killed him? No, no, he's okay. He's out for the count. He's okay though. Yeah, let's go. Okay, hands oh, up! Shit! <gasps> Don't hands up. shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait, Sean. Stay back, Daniel. God, what are we gonna do? Sean, what do I do? Quick! Gotta find something to stop them. The chair. What's going on? They're dangerous. Be careful. We will the shoot mic, if we need to. Understand? What the fuck? Ah, uh, fuck. What the fuck? Do not move. Don't do anything stupid, kid. Throw that locker. Okay, that works. I didn't want to hurt anybody anymore. You saved us. You had no choice. Now, let's bail. Sean, I think our things are in there. Break it out. Hey, step hey, back. What did you do? You fucking Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Okay, but be quick. God damn. Let's go. Anything else? Bet it belongs to one of these trigger happy people. Ugh, I bet it's just filled with guns. They must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. Look at that. Crime Central. Okay, let's go. Come on, Sean. We gotta go. On my way. 
We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. I hate. I love how the lights, the left side is dark because of his eye. Take it out, Daniel. Time to go. There's a car. Do we have the keys? <clears throat> Hurry, Sean! Drive! Oh, we do. Must have been in the backpack. Well, at least we didn't kill anyone, right? No, nobody is chasing us. Not yet. I wonder if all the security cameras caught it. We still going to Mexico? Yeah. Now I get Sean's point a lot better though. He just really just wants to protect Daniel because even now Daniel already started shit. So then it's kind of like, well, now we just have to run. But now I'm wondering if the camera caught that his powers. Sean. Fourth of July. Our first one without Dad. Hmm. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He was so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. <laughs> oh, man. I really thought that we're gonna we were gonna stay in there and then the other cop lady was gonna come and everything. <laughs> now look around, where is the hole? Shit. Damn. Wait, why would you just drive there of all places? Why not go back to where you put a hole in the wall? Sean, why would you try and go through the main gate? Oh shit. Scratch my face. What are we gonna do? You know that day? In Seattle? The date Dad was shot? I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you and Adam, just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together, but you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. <laughs> Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. 
I promise, Sean. Trust her. I feel like she's willing to listen. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? Oh, here it comes. Well, I've been saying it from the beginning, so I'm gonna go with my choice. I don't wanna hurt any more people. Hi. I'm just hoping I get a fair trial. Their story ends right here. Here? But I, I could. You can't. Don't do it. I get it. It's not who we are. Exactly. Your dad We're didn't raise you that way. We're just kids. And we still have time to choose what life we want to live. You're my brother. And I love you. I... I can still write letters from prison. <laughs> we'll be in touch. <laughs> promise? For real this time? I do. We're doing the right thing. Just... Try and remember what I taught you. I mean... Only the good you might want to... Hurry up, though. I don't want them to shoot you for not cooperating. I swear. <laughs> well, let's see what happens. I like that cop lady. I said on your knees now! Her, yeah. At least my little brother can go live with the grandparents. I'm sorry about all this. We're gonna look after your brother. That's my word. Good. Okay, he's ready. Sean! No! Sean! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He's gonna be fine. Daniel! You're not a little wolf anymore. Never forget who you are. Never. <laughs> I wonder what would happen though, if you use your powers. What if he ends up, like, killing all these people? Damn. Do you think Daniel's gonna do something? Maybe. I hope he listens to me, though. But yeah, this is what I feel is the smartest thing to do. Yes! He lives with the grandparents! That makes me happy. Now he can get proper education. He doesn't have to run anymore. People are taking care of him. He can be in touch with me and his mom. I feel like for Daniel, this is the best outcome. Aw, look at that. So that was January 2017? Or is it August? August 15th. Two thousand nineteen. All right, because that kid lives next door, so he has a friend. Aww. Super Wolf saves the day. Is he making drawings for his brother? Oh! <gasps> oh my God! He looks just like Sean now. What? He graduates. That makes me so happy. Oh, and there's David. 
So he goes out to the desert sometimes to hang out with everyone. That's a beautiful drawing. Enano. He's a barista! That's awesome. 2033, moving. My god, it's so cool to see how he grew up, what he looks like now. So how long have I been in prison? <laughs> when am I getting out? 15 years later, 15 years in prison? There are my friends, my mom. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! He's so old now! Bruh. <laughs> Holy shit! Am I out? Am I coming out? Oh my god, what does he look like? Oh, <gasps> here he comes! I want to see my older bro! Here he comes! Show me. Still has the eye patch. Oh my god, rocking the beard! Yes! Holy shit! Oh yes, they're back together. Honestly, I don't know if this is a good or a bad ending, but I feel like this is the best outcome. Now they can stay in America. Of course, 15 years of prison really sucks. I wish he had a trial or something and not had to do that many years, but... Daniel had a good life. I wonder if his powers are still as strong. Look at him! Who knows, maybe he got out on good behavior or something. I feel like this is a, a good outcome, at least. They finally, like... Uh, in a way, not directly, because it was Daniel who caused it, but... In a way, they finally, like... Um, took responsibility? That's the word. That's what I was looking for. They took responsibility for what happened, even though it was unfair, but they, like... They took it head on this time. They did their time and now everything is fine and nobody got hurt. <sighs> Are they going hiking and stuff? Oh my god! Oh, look at his eye! Did he get a glass eye? He's not blinking though, that's weird. It's not like you lost your... Ability to blink in one eye if you lose your eye. Damn, looks so cool! <laughs> They're revisiting all the shit that happened. Now show me if he still has powers. I wonder what he did with his powers. God, he looks so aged. They both look so aged. Oh my god. But they actually still look like their old selves. That's insane. It's so weird to see. Is he crying or laughing? Oh, true bro love. He did what he had to do so his younger brother could have a life. That's a beautiful shot. I 
I mean, 15 years is not too bad when you think about how they're tied into all that shit, like burning the property of that cult. Not, not to mention starting off, killing a cop. Killing a cop, burning a cult's property, which maybe killed some people. They were involved in drugs and blew up that building. What else did they do? Oh yeah, and the one time they were just at their grandparents. So all of those, he's, he's charged with all of those and he gets out after 15 years. Oh, he's howling. And he still has his powers. Aww. Yeah, they've been through a lot of shit. I'm also so happy that Karen also showed up when he was released from prison. He didn't use his powers, it's just a future car. <laughs> this is the ending I, I hoped for. I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy that I got the choice to turn myself in. Because that's what I wanted to do from the beginning. I feel like that's the, the right thing to do. Damn. That was also a lot shorter than I thought. I wonder if it could have gone much longer if I chose to use Daniel's powers. Oh, that was intense. That got me way more than I thought it would. Seeing them all grown up. You don't realize how long you've been with those characters until something like that happens. Not really longer. Probably something would have happened there and then that was it anyway. Yeah. It has seven endings. I wonder what they are. Yeah, it makes sense. I, I felt like it would have two endings, but I guess it can have way more than that. Mercedes, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. Um, let me think. Because I feel like Life is Strange 1 had oh, two endings, but maybe it had more than two. But god, that was... that was better than I thought. Better than I expected. Toggle up speed. Oh, that's really quickly. Maybe... maybe like one of the endings is that you don't break out successfully of prison. And then you just go to jail and the ending starts right there. Just the same ending. Or one of them gets shot. That might be even worse. That's a lot of people. I feel bad for speeding it up, though. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can... I can. The It'll be silent, but let me... Let me look up the other endings. Let's see what happens. So I think there's four endings, then? You can surrender or fight, and then Daniel can refuse or accept that. Right here. What? No! No! Daniel, come on. So we went all this way? All that shit? For nothing? You told me we were going to Mexico. We're done. The Damn. It's not who we are. Holy shit. Now it's my turn to take care of us, Sean. Nothing can stop the Wolf Brothers. What? Daniel! No! Stop! Holy shit. Shoot! Shoot! 
Oh my god. How is he gonna get through all of this? What? Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. He's so fucking strong. Is Sean dead? Sean? <gasps> Sean. Oh my god. Oh, no. oh he got fucking shot. Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's what you get, you little shit. We're not listening to your older brother. Is he gonna just run off into the desert? I don't know what happens to him now. God, I'm so glad I chose to surrender. <laughs> I'm so glad that was my ending. Massacre at the border. Damn. He did go to Puerto Lobos, did he? Oh, something happened and it affected the tourism? Plaga del Catarizas, what does that mean? Does anyone speak Spanish? Pickpockets? Oh, so many people are getting their shit stolen, so it's affecting tourism. <gasps> Someone robbed the bank for a million? Is that what it says? Central bank? Not a million dollars though, right? What what is the currency in Mexico? Hey Kimmy! <laughs> Sorry, this is major spoiler territory if you don't want to see it. One million pesos? How many dollars is that? Two dead at a local something? So he probably just died as well? Six years after the border. A hundred thousand dollars. Local gang shootout to that. Thank you. Okay. God, now I want to learn Spanish. I can guess so much of it already. It should, shouldn't be too hard to... If I do it for like six months, I can probably... Oh, holy shit! He's just a gang member now! Whoops, sorry. Punk Daniel. Little shrine for his brother. Yeah, there's no way he knows how to live an honest life because he was 10 when he crossed the border, so if he didn't go to a school or anything, this is like how he survived then. That's crazy. 
Look at all the scars on him, too. He's seen some shit. Oh, he took his eye patch. Oh, and that's his sketchbook. Am I glad I didn't get this ending? Jesus. <laughs> He's 16 there. Oh, yeah. Is he gonna die? They want to pick a fight with him. Whoa, the bass is really intense in these earbuds. Damn. They're so good. <gasps> He's probably keeping his finger off the- <gasps> No! Oh my god, he's so evil now! Is he gonna make him pull the trigger? <laughs> god damn! He looks so much like Shaw now. He does, yeah, his face does. I mean, they are brothers, so... Kinda wish she'd shot him to make him even more evil, but... Oh, okay. Next one. Parting ways. So this is... We're we're gonna try and the use the powers. The God, that was a shitty ending. So now we're gonna choose to cross the border, and and Maybe Daniel's gonna either sure. agree or disagree. Uh, I bet Sean's still gonna get shot. I'm sorry, Sean. I have to go. What? What are you talking about? Don't turn back for me. <gasps> oh, he stays behind? I hope you'll be happy in Mexico. <gasps> <laughs> wow! Thank you, Davis. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, they're still gonna get him. The shirt said to Porto Lobos. They know where he's going. Damn. Oh, I wonder what happens. Show me. I need to know. Yeah. He still gets the life. 
Yeah, because he's too young to actually get arrested. He can't actually be charged with anything, and his brother kind of still takes the blame, but he's in Mexico. We didn't get the Christmas one before, did we? Bus avoids lake tragedy due to miracle. Ah! Oh. Well, that kind of happened in the other one as well, right? It was just a drawing instead. Because it was like Sean drawing him pictures. He's with Karen. Oh, it's a little bit different. Is that his first car? Yeah, this way is also good because no one dies, but at the same time, like, Sean can never come back to America. They can never be together. Six years later. We know this house well. Yeah, I, I don't feel good with this ending because I still feel like they're just running away from the trouble they caused. Doggy. A play box. <laughs> PlayStation, Xbox, play box. At least he turned out right, like this. <laughs> oh, he's under house arrest. For how long, I wonder. Oh, did he get a letter? Oh, they got back in touch. That's good, though. I do hope that they got in touch in the other ending as well that I got. He's in Puerto Lobos. Ah, oh, look at him! Hmm. Yeah, now I'm a little bit conflicted. It's like, do they... Are they apart? Or are they then at least happy? Like, he gets to live his life in Mexico, and he gets to live his life in America. Or do we make Sean do, do time so they can be together after 15 years? I mean, personally, I would go for jail, because I wouldn't want to live my life in fear and not being able to travel the world, because I would get maybe... Oh, sand. In fear of someday still being arrested, I guess. Yeah, this ending, he's still on the run, so... He can still never really settle.
the Wolf Brothers. Cute. Daniel has a better life when Sean goes to jail as well. That's true. Alternate scene. Oh, he's with Cassidy? Oh, right, if you chose to be with her. So I would have probably gotten the Cassidy ending then. Oh, that is great though. Yeah, she didn't show up at all, did she? Sean with Finn. Oh, that could happen too. That's great. Who was the other lady when he came out of prison? Was that his childhood friend? Haha, <laughs> yes. Two sexy boys. <laughs> I'm glad this this is a good video. They're really showing everything. <laughs> So this is this is evil, Daniel. So now they're both gonna try and escape. I wonder if Sean just dies then. That was Lila. Yeah, she's the girl from the first episode. Be careful. Wait, he gets out. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna die? Get out of the car. I mean, that's the thing with these kind of games, right? It's like each end, no ending is like perfect. Life is Strange One also was like either you lose the person you love or you fuck up the entire town. Countless people will die. Shoot! Shoot! So now it's probably like you either go your separate ways or one of you does time are the best outcomes. Damn, that's so cool though to see. His shirt makes it look like he has a little cape. Holy fuck! Now drive! Total anarchy. Make way! Oh my god, we still need to use that road, mind you. I still feel like one of them is gonna die. You did fucking yeah. amazing! <laughs> and then the car gets stuck on like one piece of asphalt. <laughs> Is he gonna get drunk on power now? Oh, they both make it through.
Now let's see how they... what happens. They make it to Puerto Lobos. They run a cocktail bar? Hmm. Playing video games? Hmm, what does this mean? Thanks, Vixen, for the five months. Thank you. Whoa. They just live in some rundown building? So this is the evil route for both of them? The gang shooting still happened. Two dead. Is that them, maybe? Oh, Diaz repair shop. Oh, so did they steal the money to start their own repair shop like their dad did? Is that what, what they mean? What it means? So they did criminal shit to make the... make a life for themselves? Yeah. Well, maybe they didn't steal money, but they definitely were involved in some gangs then. Still has the little scarf. Now I can't tell though. Is this Daniel or Sean? Probably Daniel? Their dad was a mechanic, yeah. Shiny boy? <gasps> oh no. Ah, oh, the same dude, so the same trouble with the gangs. Oh. He gets a black eye instead. God, he looks so different. Is he gonna break his neck? Yeah, I like my ending the best. <laughs> they both are good people in the end. Now well, you say they're not kids anymore, but Daniel's still 16 here. It's still a kid in my book.
I mean, yeah, like I said, that's the thing with Life is Strange. There, each ending has like its ups and its downs. I mean, that's what's good about it. It keeps you like discussing why you think a certain ending is better than another one. Like here, it's good because they're still together and they don't. No one has to do jail time. But still, they're like <sighs> involved with gangs. They're never really safe. They keep being threatened all the time. With all he's done, he's not really a kid anymore. No, that's true. He's definitely very handsome. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> They're handsome brothers. I wonder if they're modeled after someone. They never explained the origins of powers in either games. Nope. I mean, they don't have to. I feel like they don't have to. Okay, that was it. Before it shows all like suggested shit. Yeah, it just fades to black. That was it. That was all the endings. Oh man. So seven endings as in there are four big endings and then there are a couple variations that you can do. Um, but yeah, like like I said, each ending has like its ups and its downs and that's... It's, it's done on purpose so you can like keep discussing uh, why you think one ending is better than the other, of course. It's, it's well done, it's well written. It's not like a black or white ending. I think your ending is canon. Oh, maybe. I don't know if they do that with canon or not. I missed the entire last episode. Yeah, that was it. That was Life is Strange 2. I have to say though, going into this one today, I was like, if it's bad, if I'm not into it, then I'll, I'll never play any of their games again because in my opinion this game throughout was a lot less interesting than the first Life is Strange was. The first game was a lot more fun and interesting I feel and better written but seeing these endings did make me realize how I was more into it than I thought I was. So who knows maybe... I, I, I did hear though they already announced their new game and it has nothing like Supernatural. It's just like a teen teen drama or something. So I'm not sure how into it I'm gonna be. Because um, the supernatural thing is what drew me in in the first place. Like that's what I like about it. So we'll see what... I, I'll need to know more about what it is, what the setting is gonna be. I might try it out, but um, I, I don't think so. I think... Uh, I think I'll probably skip on anything else they make unless the story like piques my interest, but the game is losing its touch. Yeah. Uh, Stacy, Cosmic, Hot Joe, and Twitch, thank you so much for the bits today. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone who followed. I'm glad you liked Life is Strange 2. Um, it was a nice little change of pace. So don't forget there's a poll up right now whether or not Thursday and Friday this week are going to be more Star Wars or Nancy Drew. Two very different things, so make sure to vote. Get your vote in. You can also vote for both if you want, though. If you're like, ah, I don't care. Whatever's good. I'll be there anyway. Then you can vote for both as well. Or not vote at all, I guess. Same thing. Um, I'll also put the poll on Twitter, and it's already on Discord. I'll put it on YouTube as well in a community post, so everyone can get a vote in. Um, but that's it for today. And so who knows what's going to happen on Thursday? Either some Nancy Drew action or some Star Wars action. Both is going to be fun. Either. Um, and then Monday will probably be a hog. Whether, whether it's Nancy Drew or Star Wars. Um, also, thank you everyone who subbed and resubbed today. Thank you so much. Don't forget, if you're a new sub, you can link up your Discord or your Twitch account and join my server where we do movie nights and everything. Uh, really fun to hang out. Um, but the movie nights are on Sundays, so you still have a lot of time to link them up. For now, tomorrow is my day off, and I'll be back on Thursday with whatever wins the poll. 
Thank you so much for a good night, though. It was more intense than I expected. I got really into it, so it was fun. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out with me. Hog on Monday! That's for sure gonna happen, I think. I really want another hog. But yeah, good night for now, guys. Thank you so much, everyone. See you later! Bye-bye! <laughs>